Welcome to PCMRP's video tutorial series. The purpose of this video is to provide a look at PCMRP's inventory module. PCMRP's inventory module can be accessed by clicking on Modules, Inventory, and then selecting New or Edit. In this case, we'll select Edit. Since I'm looking for a bearing, I will select Sort by Description. I will then enter the first few letters of the description, BE for bearing. Case does not matter. Once the part has been located, click the OK button to edit the part number. Parts can be classified as parts inventory, part non-inventory, assembly, labor inside, and labor outside. The revision field can be either alpha or numeric characters. The optional inspection criteria button can be used to set up the inspection criteria for this part number. The optional currency drop-down box can be used to display the cost and sale prices of this part number in alternate currencies. The description can be entered or changed manually. In addition, you can use the description template button to auto insert or a predefined description. Inserting predefined descriptions ensures that when you look up by description, all your cables or all your bearings will be listed side by side. The quantity slash cost page contains the average, standard, and last PO cost. The average cost is automatically updated every time you receive a part based on the weighted average. The standard cost is manually set by accounting and not changed by PCMRP. The last PO cost is automatically updated whenever a PO is entered for this part number. The on order quantity is a total quantity of all the open POs for this part number. The on demand quantity is a total quantity of all open sales orders for this part number. The MRP available quantity is the quantity available after the MRP has allocated existing parts and purchase orders for all open sales orders. The minimum quantity, standard order quantity, order multiple, and lead time fields are used by PCMRP's infinite bucket module to create your buy, make, and ship action items. The last physical inventory or cycle count date is automatically updated whenever a part is counted during a physical inventory or cycle count. PCMRP supports up to 22 warehouses and one manufacturing floor, known as WIP or Work in Process. The Part Status button displays where the part is used, and even the future inventory levels of the part based on existing open sales and work orders. Clicking on the Vendors tab displays this, part, this part's vendor information. The PO ratio and PO units allow you to purchase in one unit and issue in another unit. You can use the buyer field to set which buyers are responsible for specific part numbers. In addition, you can have unlimited vendors per part number. Each vendor and part number combination can store up to 15 price quantity breaks. Clicking on the sales price tab reveals that PCMRP offers up to 15 price quantity breaks per customer level. For example, all level 1 customers may be end users. All level 2 customers may be retailers, and all level 3 customers might be distributors. Clicking on the Details 1 tab allows us to store a picture and or one or more documents for this part number. Clicking on the Lookup button allows the user to download price quantity breaks from Mauser, DigiKey, Allied Electronics, Avnet, and TTI. The price quantity breaks can then be inserted into PCMRP by clicking on the Yes button. Clicking on the Vendors tab shows the price quantity breaks have been downloaded. Clicking on the Details 2 tab allows users to enter the unlimited description for each part number. This unlimited description can be printed out on purchase orders, invoices, etc. The Reliability field allows PCMRP to calculate the mean time between failures of all assemblies. The Asset Expense Income and Cost of Goods Sold drop-down list boxes allow accountants to assign the chart of account numbers to be debited or credited when this item is purchased or invoiced. Other notable fields include shelf life, which can be used to calculate warranty dates on serialized items, lead-free items, floor stock items, and serialized items. The QuickBook ta QuickBooks tab allows the accountants who have interfaced PCMRP with QuickBooks to assign chart of account numbers to be debited or credited when the item is purchased or sold. Well, that concludes our presentation of PCMRP's inventory module.